Crypto market is free falling at the moment. What should you do? Maybe you should sell everything and buy back later. Or is the bull market cancelled? Well, let's find out, shall we? At the moment, Bitcoin is down about 6%, maybe even 7 But today, 15 to 20 minutes ago, we saw a huge candle, almost 10% down in a minute. On a daily chart, we are seeing bearish divergence, meaning that the price is about to do the opposite. And that's what happened, and we were prepared for that. I sold a small portion of my portfolio on 44,000, not much, like a few percent, but at least now I have some liquid funds to deploy whenever the price hits my down targets. But this actually isn't the most important thing in the chart. As you know, I am looking at two charts. Bitcoin dominance, which on daily looks hideous, but I see some joy looming down here, meaning that we might still head up higher. Overall, the market looks quite red. And the other chart I'm following is Bitcoin Ethereum chart which I was betting was going down since the August of last year. But we haven't quite hit my targets yet, meaning that I'm still mostly in Bitcoin. Now, I don't know what other people are saying, but to me, it doesn't look bullish at all, meaning that my target may still get hit. We only have a few days until we know if ETF is approved or delayed once again till March. You should be prepared for whatever outcome there is, meaning that you don't sell your portfolio, you still hold your alts, you still hold your position in Bitcoin, but you also should have some liquid form of cash to deploy whenever the price hits lower targets, like 35 to 37,000. Now, I'm not a wizard of charts, but I can tell you that Bitcoin will head higher, whether it happens in the middle or on the latter half of the year, we will still crush all-time high this year. Now I have marked with a yellow line Bitcoin halving. I'm not sure if it will be higher than today when the mining reward happening will take place. But I have predicted my weekly support levels around here today at 35 and here around 30. Now I'm not petting on that we might still visit the bottom down here, but I'm fairly confident that this range here will hold. Meaning that whenever the price hits there, you deploy your liquid funds not a financial advice. This is just what I'm going to do. Now, those are weekly support levels. 21 weekly, 100 weekly, 200 weekly. Oh, this is daily 21. Mm -hmm. And also using Fibonacci extensions, we can measure, I think using that top to this bottom. We have 61.8 right on 36K. We have 0.5 on 33K. So the outcome is really simple. You just buy whenever we hit the lower parts of this channel. But what should you buy? Well, that is the question. This is our Bitcoin dominance chart. I really don't like those high wicks here. This is pure example of downward pressure, meaning that Bitcoin dominance will start crumbling soon. Well, it's been already doing that. But let's open daily. Yeah, I mean, daily looks horrible. We managed to hold 200 daily support down on that turquoise line. And we are now holding support on 50-day line. If we close daily like this, meaning that altcoins will still have a nice rally, but if we close it as a bullish candle, we might still get some follow-through to the upper part of these percentages, like 57 and maybe beyond, but I'm not pushing it. Here, I will switch Bitcoin to alts, with no questions asked. So, a conclusion. Don't be a dumb person selling your bags now, hoping to buy back later, because the percentage gains are not that big. You're taking a risk in a bull market, missing out on another pump. Just keep calm, keep accumulating, and maybe accumulate even alts. Just keep calm, keep accumulating, and enjoy this opportunity to buy some more, even at lower levels. And let's see what the market does that will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Till next time.